248 years old, HMS Victory is the oldest commissioned warship in the world. She's most famous as Lord Admiral Horatio Nelson's flagship in the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805, when the British Royal Navy was up against the combined fleets of the French and Spanish. Victory is a first-rate line of battleship. She carries 104 guns spread across three decks. Whilst there are some very large ships in the French and Spanish fleet, the majority of them are two-deckers, smaller ships, so Victory would tower over them. But although Admiral Nelson commanded superior ships like the Victory, he actually had fewer ships than the enemy. We know we have to take an enemy line, and at Trafalgar, this, we are talking about 33 French and Spanish ships of the line. Nelson has only 27. So his challenge is to remove a portion of the enemy fleet to even the odds. Nelson devises an ingenious plan using an incredibly unorthodox naval strategy. The established tactic of the day was to engage the enemy fleet in a single line of battle, parallel to the enemy. Nelson ignores this and commands his ships on a perpendicular attack. He divides the British fleet into two parallel columns and pushes them towards the French and Spanish line, which is spread out across the horizon. It's five miles wide. So he wants to split the enemy into three chunks. By breaking the enemy formation into three, Nelson creates what he calls a pell-mell battle. He separates the middle of the fleet from the front and annihilates many ships before the front line can turn back. The front half were piled by wind. By the time they realize what has happened, they're gonna have to turn around and beat into the wind. Very difficult to do with a sailing ship. But there was enormous risk in the strategy. Leading the charge face on, the victory was open to the broadside cannons of the enemy line. We have the best part of 15 or 16 ships who are concentrating all their guns on victory and on victory's bows. So she's very heavily battered at the front. The sails are cut through, the steering wheel's shot away, a lot of uh, damage is done to the hull. The upper decks are raked almost continuously by fire for a couple of hours. So they're a scene of absolute destruction. She's very, very badly damaged indeed. But the victory cuts the enemy line. The British ships overwhelm the center and rear enemy guard. And though Nelson is mortally wounded, he witnesses victory before taking his last breath. HMS Victory lives up to her name, leading the most decisive British naval victory in the war.